So much on my teeth. Good, more snacks. Hello friends and welcome to another video. You guys have been requesting a lipstick collection video from me quite a bit and I hear you. And so today I'm here with a video that is not exactly the video you asked for, but it is similar. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite lipsticks of the moment. Krusty will not be here for the whole video because I'm pretty sure very soon he's about to put his claw either into my boob or my eye because it seems like that's the trajectory that I'm feeling from him. Just like, cause one claw, yeah, oh, oh, or, or just. Boop. Boop. <laughs> well, we had him for one take, huh? Oh, he's just right here, oh, okay. As you guys might know, I'm something of a lipstick fiend. I feel like I have a normal amount of other types of makeup. I just have a lot of lipstick. So as you can imagine, it was kind of difficult for me to choose 10 lipsticks to show you guys, but I think I narrowed it down to some winners. There definitely are other lipsticks that aren't on this list that I really, really love, but these are the lipsticks I think I wear the most often. Someday soon, I'm gonna do an entire lipstick collection video. I feel like I just need to get them a little more organized before I do that. Right now, they're in kind of like a heap. Not an incredibly disorganized heap, like a moderately organized heap, but it's not pretty. Just a disclaimer before we get started, I am in no way a beauty expert or a makeup artist. I just really like lipstick. So a lot of my opinions are just based on how I think they look and how I think they feel. And yes, I will be lip swatching every single one of these for you guys. So if you see like a red ring around my mouth, not really red, I feel like it turns red because of red lipstick, like any color other than the lipstick that's on my lips. It's just from like the amount of removing and reapplying that's gonna be happening. Hopefully not too much chafing. You might get a better view of my ingrown hair coming in around the stash area. So just, yeah, it's just that kind of day. Okay, let's swatch. I'm gonna prep my lips with this e.l.f. like lip scrub stick. There's little grains inside. I'm pretty sure the grains are sugar because the grains disintegrate after a little bit on your lips. And if you're wondering, does this lip scrub taste good? Yes, it does. It tastes pretty good. All right, lipstick number 10. Wait, where's lipstick number 10? Wait, are my lipsticks running away from me? Lipstick number 10. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. The soft matte lip creams have a special place in my heart. I feel like these are one of the first like liquid lipsticks that I was introduced to. And the funny thing is like, these are barely even liquid lipsticks. They're more, as the title says, like lip creams, but they're really moisturizing and soft and they smell great. And they're just, they're not as intense. It smells like cake batter, honestly. So this is London. I really love this kind of like yellowy nude color. In my experience, I find that the nude lip creams are a little bit better and I like how soft it is. And I just, I have so many soft matte lip creams that I just wanted to show you guys one that I really love. The other reason I recommend a lighter shade is to avoid the dreaded butthole lip. In my definition, butthole lip is when you're wearing lipstick and it wears away or never exists on the inner waterline of your lips. And I have a very active inner waterline of my lips. Butthole lip plagues my life. I feel like that's why I go for a lot of liquid lipsticks because I find that liquid lipsticks just cling a little bit better than normal lipsticks just to the butthole. All right, let's move on. So number nine is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Femme. I really love this color. I actually just wore this in the very end of my Primark video. This is kind of like a gray purple. I feel like I was afraid of purples for so long just because I drink a lot of coffee. So my teeth can look kind of yellow in certain lights. So like for a while I was afraid of purple lipstick and then I was like, listen, I'm just gonna lean into purple lipstick because I want to wear a purple lipstick. I feel like the reason I end up eating a lot of lipstick is because I try and cover the butthole lip. In that instance, I actually touched my teeth with the lipstick wand, but you know what I mean? Like I go inside, it's just part of my life. Like I've just accepted it. Like I just ingest a lot of lipstick. So this is Femme. I feel like this color is like a really wearable purple. Like it's not just a bright orchid purple. This is like kind of a muted dusty grayish color. Let's move on to number eight. So number eight is the NYX Liquid Suede in Brooklyn Thorn. Smells like pretty much nothing. Oh wow, did I catch a nose hair? No. This is the first of a few browns that you're gonna see. I just love brown lipstick. I just think it's fun and wearable and kind of 90s-ish. So yeah, it's kind of like a 90s look. Like everyone's like 90s and I'm like, I was a child and I loved it. I really, really love this color. I think it's just like a really fun gray brown, like dirt. 
If I had to rename this color, I would call it Dirt and Worms. I really love the liquid suede. I think it's a good, inexpensive liquid lipstick. It doesn't ever get like fully dried down, really matte. I think it's comfortable. I think it's wearable. I think it lasts a decent amount. I just keep the tube with me and a little bit of concealer, honestly, just to like fix anything. If I decide to grub or like do anything crazy, just in case. All right, so we're on to number seven and my lips are already a little bit dry. Not Sahara Desert dry, but dry nonetheless. All right, so number seven is the Urban Decay Matte Lipstick in 1993. They don't carry these capsules anymore, but they still carry this color. Now this one, I could not leave off my top 10 because I use this a lot. It is a matte lipstick, but it is a real lipstick. One of only two like actual lip sticks that is in this video. I've had this since 2015. I know that there's a time frame in which you're supposed to throw out your lipsticks, but I never do unless it feels bad. A lot of times, especially when I'm using like a lipstick, I will just honestly take my finger and kind of like wipe the lipstick off of the Cupid's bow instead of lining my lips because I'm a little lazy. I just, I really love this lipstick. It's pretty long wearing, even though it's not like a matte liquid lipstick. It doesn't really dry down to be super matte either. It's just like such a fun brown. I know you guys are gonna be like, soft, you're too into brown lipsticks, but like, I, I just, I love them. I am that evil Kermit meme where normal Kermit's like, but wait, you already have 10 lipsticks in this color. And evil Kermit's like, but this one has different undertones though. This one does have different undertones. This one's a little more red, like it's a little more of a brick red. Brooklyn Thorn's a little more gray. You guys, there are differences and there, there are differences in the way the tube looks. Alrighty then. Number six is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in point zero. This is the one I use in my everyday makeup routine. I love this color. I wear it all the time. I really love the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. I like the mattes as well. I think the Ultra Satin Lips are just more wearable. They're just less drying. They're more comfortable. I just am a sucker for this Ultra Satin Lip, man. This is point zero. It's once again, one of those gray browny nudes. And you know, I just am a sucker for them. A beauty YouTuber that I watch, who's really awesome named Kathleen Lights actually made this color in collaboration with ColourPop and I love it. So like shout out to Kathleen for making a dope lipstick because this is a great color. All right, number five. This is Black Moon Cosmetics in Myth. It is a liquid lipstick. It's a blackened greenish metallic. It smells like cake batter as well. I definitely don't wear it as much as I wear my nude colors, but when I feel like wearing this thing, I'm just like, Last time I wore this lipstick, I named my look Barb from the upside down, but it's also like kind of a Grinchy look. It can go festive if you went like green lips, red eyes, kind of like demon festive. It's also kind of a Slytherin color. I am a Ravenclaw, but Slytherin is my secondary house. I know some people are adamantly against like having like multiple houses, but listen, if we're gonna be canon, I went to Illiverborny anyway. So this is myth. Something about how dark and green and metallic-y it is makes it look kind of velvety. I wouldn't say that this guy is like 100% transfer proof. So like if you're gonna go out to eat, like definitely bring the tube with you. Honestly, for this color, like I would bring a lipstick tube anywhere. Number four is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Drop Dead Red. I just think it's a fun, dramatic, like deep wine color. This is one of the only like classical matte formula that's in this lineup. This one dries down to a true matte. It's really long lasting. It's definitely kind of dry, but it clings. Like it will stay on your face. Sometimes when I'm putting on a really matte lipstick, I'll smile and then like fill in the cracks just to keep everything smooth. This lipstick is kind of like came to slay you. Like not came to slay, like slay, like came to slay you. Reminds me of kind of old Hollywood, Tower of Terror, Femme Fatale, like a murderous woman. Lipstick number three is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Mess Around. This may be the ultimate Sophia, not a fourth brown lipstick. So is this the 10 most different lipsticks in the world video? No, not really, but I just wanted to show you guys my absolute favorites and I really do reach for this one all the time. So yeah, this is mess around because we're just messing around with some lipsticks, having a good time. I think this one's kind of subtle, kind of sexy, kind of nudie. It is oftentimes in my bag. And once again, this is the ultra satin lip formula because I just love that freaking formula and I could put that on my face all day long. That sounded sexual, but 
I'm here for it. So moving right along to number two, this is the NYX liquid suede in foul mouth, dirty mouth, clean it up with NYX liquid suede. It smells almost exactly like the Mr. Sketch scented markers in licorice. I absolutely love this color. I will wear this color any day of the week. It's a really, really deep navy purple, like not quite navy blue, not quite purple, somewhere in between, almost like a deep violet. Especially with these darker colors, you just wanna cover the butthole as much as possible. It's kind of like an Ursula look. I just feel like I'm chilling like a villain. Actually, if I had to rename this lipstick, it would definitely be chilling like a villain. Imagine like Plankton's evil laugh, you know? Like it's just an with this lipstick shade on. You just have to like use your diaphragm. I feel like this is one of my go-to dark shades. I just loved it enough for it to make it to number two on this list. Not quite to number one. I feel like number one might surprise you guys, honestly. But before we get to number one, I have two honorable mentions for you guys. So honorable mention number one is the Kylie Lip Kit in Ginger. I love how the Kylie Lip Kits smell. They honestly smell like butterbeer to me. I have a few Kylie Lip Kits just because I've tested so many of her makeups that I just have a lot of that makeup. She has like eyeshadows and blushes and eyeliners. And I still think that the OG like Kylie Lip Kit is her best product. It's very matte. It's very long lasting. I feel like it goes with a lot of things. I feel like it's pretty universally flattering. To me, it's kind of like if pump Pumpkin Spice were a lipstick. I feel like there's a stigma around pumpkin spice lattes. And like, I'm not saying I support like pumpkin spice everything. Like I remember there was a meme going around of pumpkin spice tampons, but I love a good pumpkin spice latte. They taste amazing. I don't care about the stigma. I just felt like the list might be incomplete without one Kylie lip kit. Honorable mention number two. I don't think I could make this video without mentioning my favorite black, actually black, dark as night lipstick. Cause sometimes you just need to go all the way. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip, I believe it's called. Yes, in Witches. The Kat Von D Liquid Lipsticks kind of smell like Crayola crayons, which doesn't deter me from wanting to chew on them somehow. Obviously like when you're going for a black lipstick, like they're all gonna be the same color. The reason I go for this one is Kat Von D's lipsticks are definitely on the kind of like more matte clinging side, having like a true matte black lipstick is just kind of like sexier. I wouldn't necessarily want like a shiny, like patent leather black lipstick. I like this kind of like matte Batmobile color. All right, on to number one. Before I tell you guys what my number one favorite lipstick is, I feel like I have to re-clarify that these things are like of the moment. I can't say it's gonna be my favorite lipstick forever. And it obviously had, there have been times before where I had other number one favorite lipsticks, but I do love this lipstick enough to give it the number one slot. It is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Oblivion. It's a gray, purpley, taupey color. This lipstick was an accidental love. I remember going into Sephora for a different Urban Decay Vice Lipstick, swatching this one, getting kind of emotionally confused, leaving Sephora, walking around for a while with the swatch, and then just being like, I need this color in my life. Coming back for it and just being like, yes, you're coming home with me. The reason it got to be at the top of my list, besides the fact that I was just drawn to it magnetically at Sephora, is because of how often I reach for this thing. This is another lipstick that just kind of like lives in my bag. Like I take this everywhere. I feel like I can wear it with any type of makeup look. It's still a cool color, though it's also an everyday color. I really hope my application is doing it justice right now because I've swatched so many things on my lips tonight already that my lips are kind of chapped and dying. It takes a couple couple of coats to get full coverage, but it's just so wearable. It does have like a matte finish, but it's not super matte. I just, I'm a big fan. So those are my top 10 favorite lipsticks of the moment. Well, kind of top 12, because I snuck in those two honorable mentions. So top 12 favorite lipsticks of the moment. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that you guys didn't mind too much when my swatching kind of like decreased in quality lipstick after lipstick. A day will come when I will make an entire lipstick collection video and I'll show you guys, hopefully, my then improved storage situation. Like I kind of want those things that help the lipsticks stand up by themselves, but then I would just kind of need like bleachers of lipsticks. You know, I would kind of need like stairs of those, but I hope you guys like that anyway. I'm glad I could share part of my lipstick addiction with you guys. I would love to hear more about your guys' favorite lipsticks. I don't need to be enabled necessarily, but I just like to know. You know, I feel like I just, I like to know what's in your makeup bags. So just let me know if you guys have an absolute favorite lipstick that I should know about. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like that video, make sure to smash 
that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And make sure to smash that bell icon to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging Q and A's on there. I've also seen a lot of comments asking for a why I left Buzzfeed video. I wanna be as open and honest as possible with you guys. So I'll definitely make one in the next few weeks. I just wanted to wait until all the videos that I was in on Buzzfeed had been posted and also just wanted to wait until the time was right. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Pepperin, Pepperin, was too cool for seventh grade. Pepperin, she's like, what in a million? Why are you taking him away? You want to give him back? No.